I'm going to Valhalla. Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of the sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Oof. Hugin? Welcome to the Tenth World Warrior. I am Hugin sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. This stone is Vegvasir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Eichther, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. So these are the stones of all that we need to slay in order to make it to Valhalla. But we have to start small. This is a new world. And I have nothing on me but the rags that I am currently wearing. So we'll get some food, find some shelter. Start making tools and developing a safe space for us to survive. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Take stock of your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up, and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. Oh, this guy's mad. I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, immediately. I can pick up this branch. Aha. Uh -huh. You can get wood and a club. I just want to read this rune, okay? Need to work on my aim, apparently. Oh, we got one down. Leather scraps and raw meat from the boars. There's a bunch around that. And I'm already low on health. Let's continue looking for a place to find shelter. What's this? Hmm. Looks like mushrooms. Good. Looks to be plenty of deer, once I can get something to help me hunt them. Oh, 
I'm gonna follow them though, see if they lead me to some kind of shelter. Oh, we have the ocean, some strange creatures. Beautiful. Guess we'll keep following the ocean here. I can feel it stirring up memories from my life before. Feels familiar. important to me, but I don't quite remember why. Well, there's some small shelter here. And a chest with flint and amber. Hmm. We need more wood to create a club, which would be our first tool. A boar trophy. We'll go to the woods here and see if we can... Oh, there's another building. Find some more branches for wood. This is a nice large shack. I feel wary of whatever that is. But I like this place. It's a little bit more secluded, protected, and larger than the other one we found. So I think I'd like to come back. Can I can make a club? Oh, there's another one. Oh, something. Hear. I hear buzzing. <laughs> ah, there it is. I feel like I shouldn't get too close to that right now. Let's see, what can I do with the club? Not much damage, but I'm sure we have to start out somewhere. Alright, oh. Okay, a little bit more effective than I originally thought. Resin and torch. 
just remembered how to make. Hmm. Dandelion. Some clouds covering the trees over there. Oh, it said I could make um, an axe with wood and stone, so let's try. There we go. Yes, now we have some options. Can make a hammer. Now we can make some shelter and a lot of things. What does Hugin have to say? Not much, apparently. Why? Where did he go? Why did he go? Some sun appears to be setting, so we should head back and work on some safety and shelter. Can I'll see see we ha, English. We can also see what kind of things we can make now, tools and such. I wonder if building around this here will disturb <laughs> that nest up there though there's a tree in the middle of it as well let's see what we need first I need more wood There's a lot of bushes here, so might as well. I got resin from that too. Okay, let's see if we have enough now. Yes, we do. How close do I need to get to that to be in trouble? And we have many new things. Many new things. Ooh. Oh, man, many, many new things. <laughs> oh my goodness, it just keeps coming. Yep, okay, all of the building. Um, we're remembering everything. Apparently I was a construction worker in my previous life. Okay. The workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. And the sun is setting, so I would recommend that we do this. Thank you, Hugin. Quickly. Let's first repair what we have.
wonder how much wood I actually only have three pieces. Okay. Okay, we can repair what we have here and... Sharper than stone. Let's make a flint axe. I only need two more flint and three more wood. Added three wood. Look at that. <laughs> Odin smiles upon us. And I think that was two flint that I needed. Okay. Yes, let's make a flint axe. And you should be able to use this to get some more wood and... Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Okay. We'll need to learn how to make fire. Which way is it gonna fall? <laughs> Okay, and now we have a log. Oop. Now we have two logs. And a lot of wood. Perfect. Let's see how far that will get us. Oh wait, I should cut down this tree. That deer scared me. Hopefully I don't regret this. So far, so good. I, think I hear something stirring in the woods. Uh. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I did indeed. A grayling. From which I get. Resin. Okay. Let's see, there's something in here now. Oh, more wood. Okay. Oh, I. Okay, got stung. Got poisoned. Okay. But not too bad. I need to attack this from a distance. Hmm. A bow. I need six more leather scraps. Well, let's finish doing as much as we can with the house and then go back out with daylight for some boar uh, that we got the leather scraps from. To make a bow so we can get rid of this. Um that thing that I can't get too close to, apparently. Hmm. Roof piece. Yes. Can I? Yep, okay, apparently I can. Okay. We're making some progress. And we need four. We 
You know, I remember deer now, but I don't remember them sounding like that. <laughs> okay. Well, I have shelter now. Let's see, what else can I build? A chest? A bed? A bed would be great. I wonder if it's already daybreak now, though. Oh. That actually scared me. Hugin, <laughs> a headdress for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Good tip. There we go. Now I, Jenny, have a place to sleep. But it needs a fire. Okay. Um... Yeah, I got too close again. I wonder if I can smoke whatever this is out. I need five... Okay, I need four more stone in order to do this. I have a feeling by the time I finish it will be morning, but that's okay. Oh, the tide is up. It's higher now than it was. Okay. I think that was all I needed. Okay. I can put it there. I can sleep. You dream of the Valkyrie. He came to you in death and carried you over the seas to Valheim. You awake missing your old life, but lust for victory. And something else that I... Oh, I remember what it said. I lost for victory and the ability to read faster. 